got? The apprentice with us again. We've got a prep table that's leaking water and one that's freezing up, I guess. A refrigerator. A refrigerator or something cooler. They let you change that all by yourself, huh? Yep, whole condenser unit. So you had to chop it out and replace the whole thing, huh? Yep. They never give me the whole condenser. What the heck? Oh, uh, the only reason they did the whole condenser is because the fan quit working because of the grease in it. Mm -hmm. And then look at this condenser going off. Look at that thing. Oh, looks great. That's normal. You just got to put some yellow cleaner in it. Break it loose. You'd be good. Just like new again. Yeah. When in doubt, rip it out. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Basically, I'm just going to be technical assistance if you need it. Technical assistance? So I have to wait on hold for six hours for them to call you back and eventually, after you're already home. Uh, yeah, this is tr uh, You called seven, eight hours ago. Uh, what, what, what's going on? Well, now I'm at home. Uh, both of these lines are holding water at the bottom of them. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. I know, right? So that one is, that's the one I fixed that the wire fell off, so now it's holding water. Yes, sir. And then, thought this one was just, um, we noticed it was leaking behind here, and at first, he's like, ah, the hose isn't even in the pan. pan, but, well, the hose is in the pan now, and it's still doing its thing down there, too. Are they both cooling okay? Yes. All right, both good. Both are staying nice and cool. Good. And then he also wanted me to show you guys while you were here, I don't know if this is anything to be concerned about. Getting the, the build up of ice. I'm a little concerned about that. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it's a little infiltration. I replaced some of this not too long ago. All right. This one here, we had a drain line issue and I already fixed it. I don't know how the heck it's getting all that freaking uh, infiltration around it. We've got it sealed up pretty good. I mean, good grief. And it's nice and hot, so my heater's working good. Uh, all I can assume is you've got that nice warm heater in there and it's just hot, it's warm, and it's hitting that zero to negative five, ten degrees and it's doing its thing. Yeah, I don't know on that. Let's focus on the ones that are leaking water. That's the big ones. So let's go look at that. Every single one of these is filled with water. I mean, they put water, they may have put ice in there or something. I don't know. Could be it just condensated too. Well, it looks like it's not frozen. Is it? Doesn't look like it. I mean, he said it's cooling okay. So, I mean, we can assume this maybe not a, a, a refrigeration issue, but right now it seems like a, a drain issue. Let me see if the pan's filling up with water. Do you know where the pan is on this thing? It's right on the very bottom there. So you've got the aluminum thing there. You got some screws on the front. You pop that up. You can get inside there and you can see the pan. Or you can pull it out and check the backside and see if there's any water in the uh, drain pan. See if the hose is clear. Yeah. It may just be plugged up. I'll pull it out first. Yep. Oh, I did notice that we're frosted up on the on the suction line? Yeah, on the suction line. It's not really, it's more of an ice build up than anything. And yeah. that can happen, because I mean, it is real thin insulation, but I mean, in reality, if this is a cooler, not a freezer, it shouldn't be freezing up. Yeah. I mean, you know, what's some of the reasons why it would freeze up? Well, I would say low on charge or... Could be. Airflow issues. Correct. Or uh, possibly a, a, a capillary tube that's getting plugged up. Feel your liquid line, which is right there in front. See if that's warm. Don't get your finger chopped off, though. You're only going to feel it maybe on the dryer. See if the dryer there, see how that feels. And be careful, there's a cover missing there on the compressor. Does it feel warm? Not. Nah, I mean, it's not cold. But I mean, is it like above room temperature? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're probably feeding okay, so I doubt we're low on charge. It could have an airflow issue. It could be dirty coils. Uh, you know, sometimes that condenser coil being dirty will build up artificial head pressure, which brings everything up and makes up for it being low on charge. How's that drain line right there on the left? That's Yep. Anything coming out of that? Doesn't look like anything coming out of it. How, is there anything in the pan? 
Yeah, I mean, I can see water down in there. So it's draining, it just may not be draining fast enough. But we also got one here, too. Yep, could be either or. So we probably should get both of those cleaned out. We can do one of two things. We can pull the cover off the evaporator and clean it completely out the pan. That way, if there's any crap in there, it don't plug up again later. Or we could just suck it out in the vacuum cleaner. We might want to pull the, the pan cover there and get into it that way. Let's get some of that stuff out of the way. We're going to have to yank this. This is making a little bit of a mess, ain't it? We could put them on a push cart and then throw it in the cooler. Pop up. Fuck that. Making good use right of this thing. Hell yeah. yeah. That yeah. way we shove right into your cooler there. Yeah, that'll keep it nice and cool here for a while. Well, it looks like we got a little something growing down there. The pan is underneath this right here. Pan right. What this does, it falls down into this tray, and then it comes down to a little drain hole right down there, so you're gonna need to yank that motor out of there. Is the hole open? Well, kinda green, a little weird crap going on in there. Actually, don't look too horribly bad. Well, we definitely wanna blow that out. Ready? Yep. Seems open to me. That one wasn't. That one don't usually get too much crap on it. See what it comes down to, but sometimes we're just a bunch of uh, lonely cooks cleaning up the prep line. And the most important part is going to be inside the actual uh, pan area. Which we could have some, you know, some uh, seals on there leaking through. Do you feel any water on the back side of this? I mean, it's kind of damp. You could be leaking. This whole piece right here comes off, and there's silicone squeezed in back behind it. It could be leaking down to that silicone, going around it and falling down. Um, and then going, yeah, and then that's going very fast. possible. What's going on? And we've got a little bit of a gap down here. So I don't know if that possibly is it. What we can do is get our pump sprayer out, spray some water on it, and see if we've got any leakage coming out along the side over here, or possibly over here. I noticed that insulation crap right here looks, I don't know, it's really hard. I don't know if that's factory or what, but that right there could be possibly somebody jerry-rigged something up to try to keep it from doing it before. So you kind of just look for the clues. And also I'm kind of wondering, is this thermostat all the way into, See, that's kind of loose. I wonder if our thermostat's got issues. Is that why it's freezing up? Because maybe it's never shutting off? Makes me wonder. That's one of the things where we may want to note that so that, you know, we're covered if uh, it still starts freezing up. We may have to check the pressures if we can check them. I don't know if it's got it. Notice this plug. See how it's all burned up and stuff? It's not in the greatest shape. Worst case scenario, we can at least clean that up with a wire brush but it about needs a new plug, but you gotta have a right angle, which is kind of a pain in the hiney. I, I think I might have one. Pain in the hiney. I don't know. Pain in the motherfucker. You're gonna have to cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> so we've already cleaned most of it out. We're gonna blow some of this crap out of here. Then we're gonna spray some water in this thing and track it down the corners to see if we can uh, find out where it's coming from. This also helps blow some of the water out so that uh, we can tell there's something new coming in. Put water in it already? Well, you're just Johnny on the spot, aren't you? I ain't messing around. Hell no. See the problem. There's a problem. What do you see? Come up here. It's leaking all out through that, and then it's leaking out back this way. So, where do you think it's coming from? Down here. Really? This, this should all be sealed here and back here. This, I can, they're literally. See it? Is it coming right on through? Well, it's not. Obviously, it must be coming through. Yeah, it's not shooting out of there, but it, it's coming back through. You can see it all right here. What are you going to do about it? Silicone it? Yep. 
Unfortunately, it's got to be perfectly dry or it won't stick. Yeah, I know. Well, we just we got to got to take all them screws out of there, and then we'll have to remove the old silicone and then uh, re-silicone it. Yeah, it's kind of floppy dink. Yeah, I'm just gonna run a couple zip ties to hold it up. That's a plastic wannabe razor blade. Just plastic. That way it's not destroying the metal. Otherwise the razor blade wants to cut into it. And we're just heating it up so that we can get it loose. The little razor thing there works pretty good. It'll eat in a little bit in that soft aluminum, but for the most part it gets it off there. Tried heating it up and then peeling it, that didn't work real great. Just went right into straight brand new razor blade. Got majority of it off. You know, gotta get a clean surface and put that silicone on there, but it should be good. Unfortunately, I'll never get a cure 100% because we're gonna put it right back underneath colder temperatures, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, we just discovered that this has been uh, eight through and it's kind of about the vicinity of where it happened at. They really need a new outside pan. I'm assuming we probably can still get it. I'm gonna see if it's available. But you can see that it's been sealed before. And silicone, I'll tell you right now, does not hold up against underwater very long. That's why you never use it on your penetrations, on your roofs, stuff like that. It will leak. I've had several calls out because of it. That's why you gotta use the right caulk for the job you're working on. But that's basically where I think it's coming out at. We're going to try to silicone it up, but we're also going to check to see if we can get a uh, new piece here. Silicone it over top of it, and look what we found. That is loose as a goose. So we're going to rip that out as much as I don't want to. Let's see if we can get that new piece. Yeah, you got that back wall pretty clean too. Good. Coil looks like crap, but this is kind of generic. But we're going to do this, like I told him, I said, this don't work. And we're going to... Uh, order a new one that way we ain't doing it twice for no good reason yeah i wish i had somebody to give me a hand when i needed it i never get that now what now how are you going to silicone behind it i was test fitting test fitting is that what you're doing okay yeah. i got you you got plenty on there to feed the needy Now you can come over and get this side. Is that a new hole or the existing hole? No, that's existing. All right. I don't know if we needed that much there. Well, we, we got it now. Oh, you definitely got enough on there, that's for sure. I wouldn't like too much on the outside because it's making it possible to get it off. It's already going to be a disaster to get off. <laughs> I'm hoping that this will be the last time it ever has to be done. Yeah, this thing is kind of getting a little old. Gasket seals, they're leaving room for it to be desired. Sometimes that little tube in there will just slide across and it barely even does anything. It just really depends. All right, the other one here has got water coming out too. I tried blowing on the hose and nothing came out, so we're gonna try to suck it out and see if we can get it. I, I, I can see the screen here. Oh. Probably blew off the hose. Yeah, blew off the hose. <laughs> Like 
it probably is a piece of ice up in there, which they give you bad information, that's what happens. Last time I was here, I was told everything works fine, and the problem was the thermostat wire fell off. Now they're telling me there's times where sometimes it will freeze up, which looking at it right here, the bottom is froze up which could be a problem with the thermostat, not allowing it to defrost all the way, or it could be a little uncharged, but we checked the charge and I think it was fine. Yeah, it's getting icy in the back, so it's not properly defrosting all the way. I'm gonna say we need to get a new thermostat for it, and that's the one that, like I said, that came apart. We're just gonna have to get order it and get it come back. You know, we got universal ones, I don't count on them. Unfortunately, we don't stock nothing. We'll have to order it. All right, we're gonna order new door seals for this thing because they're tore up. You can see that there. And we'll go ahead and get a new thermostat for it also. Uh, the other one needs door seals also, so I'm gonna get that okayed. But that's froze up, so they're just gonna need to open it up overnight. When we come back, we'll schedule that up. That way we're not sitting here wasting time trying to thaw it out. Uh, basically just getting water in the bottom there. It'll be fine until then.